Okay, so any one of you who have ever watched Detail and Bell, we apologize. However, we are always touting little things you can do to your car to bring them up to the next level. And as Josh and I did our walk around the Audi here, it just occurred to me how beautiful this blue paint is. And it's a fairly rare color with the Audis. So we decided, how are we gonna make this look really pop? And so we decided to go the antithesis of murdering out a car, which is our first knee-jerk reaction, paint everything black. We decided we are gonna really make all the aluminum parts pop on this. And that is gonna take this blue and really highlight it nicely. Now, ours is a 2008. As of 2010, Audi started putting aluminum caps on their rear view mirrors. So with a little trickery, we're gonna try to bring this car up to a more contemporary look. And in order to do that, we thought, our budget's a little tight. How can we get a free wrap job? And then Josh came up with, call our buddies at Wasatch Wrap. So we decided, what a great way to do that. We're, we brought in James and Max, come on in guys, from Wasatch Wrap. And what they're gonna do is go through and show you guys how you can do little tricks like this with vinyl and make the car have a completely different look. Hey guys, how's, how's it going? going Bill? Good to see you, James. Good Max, to see you. Thanks for coming you. by. Of course. And we just, we're gonna go through and we were talking and showing the viewers about how we wanna bring this car up to a more contemporary look and really make all the aluminum parts pop on this. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we'd ask you guys to come down and show everyone how they could wrap their mirrors or little parts on their car at little or no money and really give it a kind of a different sort of feel. Absolutely. Yeah, so, and tell us a little bit about this. This isn't that hard of a process. No, it's not hard at all. With a few practice tries, you should be able to get it looking perfect. Awesome. I mean, and I've tried to wrap bigger sections on cars before. Mm -hmm. That can get a little tough, yeah. but for this, yeah, I know this the easy. multiple angles can be a little tough, but I'm hoping you guys will just show everyone, you know, with a little practice and a couple of bucks, they can go through and change a lot of looks on their car. So yep. I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna let you guys go through and show everyone how it's done. Let's do it. All right, thanks guys. Great, Bill. Knock yourselves out. So we're gonna take a minute here to introduce to you guys to some of the materials and the tools that we're gonna to use to finish this wrap job. So starting with the material itself. What I have here is a brand called Avery Denizen and this color is called Gloss Metallic Silver. We chose this color because we think it matches the aluminum accents on this Audi TT pretty well, like the wheels and the gas cap. And the goal here is to try to make this Audi TT look like a one generation newer with the aluminum mirrors. So as far as materials go, there's three very comparable brands that are all really good that you can't go wrong with. Some of the, one of them here, Avery Denizen, another one is called 3M, and another one's called Vivid. These are all very comparable brands. Uh, we like Avery Denison. It's a very, it's a very uh, forgiving material. You can stretch it quite a bit without compromising its color and integrity. Um, as well as because this is a gloss color, Avery Denison tends to have the glossiest finish with the least orange peel when compared to Vivid and 3M. So that's why we chose it for this job today. And for the tools you're going to need, it's really simple. You can buy all of them on Amazon. So first, you're going to need 3M knifeless tape. Um, this helps cut the vinyl in a very precise manner where you don't have to use a knife to cut it. So when there's any tight spaces and you don't have to risk scratching the paint, it does a really great job. You're also going to need a cutter and then you're going to need a squeegee, which we like the 3M gold squeegee. It's nice because it's very rigid, but it also is slightly soft. So it's good for tucking into tight corners. And you're also going to need a micro squeegee, which this is good for the really tight corners. So with all that said, we're just going to jump into it. So typically there's always more than one way to wrap something. In this case, this mirror has more than one way to wrap it too, like anything else. This is a very challenging mirror. This mirror, unlike a lot of mirrors, is mounted directly to the door on its bottom right here. There's no black trim pieces. It's also paint all the way around. The whole mirror is blue. There's no break in it anywhere. There's other little challenges presented like this indicator light, as well as this little edge here right on the top. So and for this particular install, we're going to try to wrap this in this aluminum color without disassembling this entire mirror. And so the way we're gonna do that is to wrap all the way up to this little edge here. We're gonna use knifeless tape all the way around. 
We're basically going to cover all this, but leave some blue around to give it a nice blue and silver two-tone look. And how we're going to cut the material to start the install. So you're going to cut a lot more extra than you need because you can always cut less out. So since we're doing this in two pieces, we're going to have this piece as well as this piece right here. So we're going to cut a little piece of vinyl for the inside piece and then a piece that's a lot bigger than necessary for the outside piece. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna line this thing up and we're just gonna jump into it now. So before you wrap anything on your car, it's really important to make sure the surface is really clean because if it's not, your wrap won't stick. So what we have here is just some isopropyl alcohol that we have in a spray bottle. And we're just gonna spray this on the mirror and just give it a good wipe down with a shot rag. The reason why we use isopropyl alcohol is because it evaporates really fast there's not gonna be any wetness left on the surface. And also it doesn't leave any residue that can impact the wrap sticking to the car. And that's pretty much it. And now at this point, we can get started on applying the wrap. All right, so first we're gonna start out using the knifeless tape on the mirror. So since James just said the mirror, we're gonna be doing it in two pieces. And since it is such a hard mirror to wrap, we're gonna to try to find lines that we can cut with the tape so that it looks pretty seamless and looks intentional. So right here, you can see there's this line on the bottom of the mirror that goes all the way across to this side of the mirror. So we're gonna run a piece of knifeless tape along this line. We're also gonna do a piece of tape on that top seam, which James mentioned was very hard to wrap in. And we're also going to run a piece around this side where we're gonna do the mirror in two pieces. So we'll get started on that right now. And when you're placing the knifeless tape, it's really important to make sure you remember which order you place the tape as it overlaps because if you put this one under the one I'm doing right now and you pull the string, it's just gonna run into this one and it's not gonna work. So just make sure to remember where you're putting which strand of the tape. Actually, this is pretty easy. It's tedious, but with a few practice tries, you'll get better and better, and it will look great. So now we're gonna get to the part where we're actually gonna be putting the vinyl on the mirror. You can do this by yourself, but it's also really nice to have someone helping you out. So first we're gonna peel the backing paper, all of it. And then we're gonna place it in the middle of all the tape and make sure it covers every line. So we're just gonna stick it on just like that. And you can have a lot of excess on the top, bottom, and the sides. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your squeegee and you're just gonna squeegee it down and make sure you're pressing pretty firm. And you're gonna wanna make sure you cover each line of the knifeless tape and press down with your finger on it so it's very defined. And then we're gonna pull where there's corners and just pull it and lay it down. And then make sure to take your squeegee and go over it again. And then we're just gonna keep going around the mirror, just pulling around the curves and pressing down. And sometimes your fingers are better than a squeegee. And you just keep going around until you have all the tape covered. The bottom of the mirror can be a little tricky because it's kind of tight, but just take your squeegee and just make sure you press it in there really good and just pull all the wrinkles out. And use your finger and just make sure you're all the way around the tape. So laying the vinyl is as easy as that. And now we pull the knifeless tape. Okay. 
And you're gonna wanna make sure that you're pulling the, your topmost piece of knifeless tape first. So just make sure you remember which order you put them on in. So to pull the tape, you're simply going to peel the tape up a little bit. And once you do it, fold it over itself and push down on it with your thumb and just give it a hard pull. And that will get it started. And once it's started, just go completely down the whole line of tape. So you hit the very bottom and then just rip the rest of it out. And then there's gonna be these two strands of green uh, tape that are left on there and you're just gonna pull them out. So we're gonna peel the vinyl off that we just cut, the excess. And then we're gonna take our second piece of tape. We're gonna get that started as well. And we're just gonna run that all the way down. And then peel off the little green pieces. And then that is it for this side piece. You're just gonna peel off all the extra vinyl. And then you're gonna push down the corners that have been cut just with your fingers. And that is it. So let's move on to the rest of the mirror. All right, so now that we finished taping off the whole rest of the mirror, we're gonna put the vinyl on it. So this part is a lot easier with two people since there's so much stretching involved. And you will need a heat gun for this part because the mirror is shaped like a sphere and you just need to stretch a lot of it. So we're gonna start off by peeling the vinyl off the backing paper. And then we're gonna start it on the overlap that we made with the knifeless tape. So we're gonna start it right about here. And we're gonna make sure it covers all of the knifeless tape. So just start it right here. And it's gonna look a little messy until you do your initial first stretch and get it going. So just tack it down really good right there. Just rub your fingers on it. And then we're gonna start by heating all of it. So we're gonna heat pretty much all of the vinyl just for a few seconds too, just to get it warm and more flexible. All right. And then grab the top of it for me. And then we're gonna pull pretty hard and just get it to go around the mirror as much as we can. And then once you're done pulling, just kind of uh, just kind of push it with your fingers just to kind of keep it where it is. And then you see all these creases in here. So the way the creases are facing, you're gonna wanna pull the opposite direction of them. So say they're facing down right here or sideways, you're gonna pull down. So you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna pull straight down and kind of stretch it over and then just push it with your fingers to keep the vinyl where it is. And then we're just gonna keep moving our way, getting all the creases off and getting past the knifeless tape that we put down. All right, let's do the top part next. Let's just get all this sorted out and then we can do the bottom. Let's do more heat.
give me some heat right here. Good. Very nice. Alright, that's all done. And then we'll go this way. Alright. Eat. Good. Stuff you like barely have to eat it. Let's get that crease out. Another thing, as we see here, we just got a little crease in our material, and that's something we can use heat to make disappear, literally. You just pull the wrap back up, put a little heat on it, and your crease is gone. Hello? Hi, Mom. I'm working on a video called Detail and Bail. Yes, Mom, I know that's your favorite show. Mom, I think he's married. I'm not going to say that. All right, I got to go and get this done, Mom. Love you. Can we finish up, man? <laughs> so as you can see on this mirror here, there is an indicator light within the mirror. So what this indicator light gives us is a really nice guideline for cutting. In this instance, we're not gonna use the knife plus tape to cut this out because of this nice groove right here that you can see that I'm outlining here with my nail. So what we're gonna do here is basically, we're gonna cut a slit right here. And what this slit is gonna do, it's gonna relieve any tension in the vinyl in this area. It's important to relieve tension when you can to prevent the, the vinyl from overstretching and peeling up in a few weeks or days or who knows. So at this point, what Max is gonna do is he's gonna lift up the vinyl at, the, at his cut. And after he does that, he's gonna use this micro squeegee and he's gonna tuck the vinyl into the crack that's in between the indicator light and the mirror itself. So right here you can see Max is using that micro squeegee to tuck the vinyl into the crack that exists between the indicator light and the mirror. You wanna make sure you tuck it in real good before you do any cutting. You wanna, when using something like a micro squeegee, it's got a very fine end on it. So when you're doing this sort of tucking, you wanna make sure that you're placing it very precisely. And if you press too hard, you risk tearing through the vinyl. So you wanna be ginger with it. Be cautious and careful and you won't have any problems. At this point, now that it's all nice and tucked in, Max is gonna use his cutter and just follow along this guideline and cut this excess vinyl out. Really take your time with this part. It's really easy to slip up with your cutter and cut a nice slice through your freshly wrapped mirror. And then you gotta start all over. You almost just want to score the vinyl and then it can kind of tear. If you press too hard, you risk scratching the paint or plastic beneath. And then talk about right So he had already tucked the wrap in beforehand before making his cut. But after you make your cut, you wanna go back in with your squeegee and just give it one final tuck in there to make sure nothing's gonna lift up. And there you go. Now that we've cut out the indicator light, all that's left to do is to pull up our knifeless tape and then this mirror is gonna be done. And so something I wanna emphasize that this particular Audi TT mirror is a little more complex than most car mirrors. A lot of other mirrors, you're not going to need to do so much planning and careful work with the knifeless tape to achieve this result. But as you can see, even with a very complex mirror, it's still not such a hard job. And with a little practice and patience, you'll be able to get it no problem. Pretty much all we have to do at this point is peel up our knifeless tape and get rid of this excess wrap.
Well, the TT is done, and I gotta say, one of my favorite cars we've done. That thing is so pretty. Another one. Yeah. Another Finished. one. Finished. Yeah, beautiful. Well, let's go through it. Well, hold on a second. Before we get started, Taco Smurf. Pop a Smurf shirt, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Eric sent me a shirt, and I gotta tell you, you and I both know where we get a lot of our inspiration from, and that's from guys out there making great content for the world of detailing. And they do inspire us. Yeah. And so we just really wanted to shout out to all these guys and let some of our viewers know where else they can go for great content. You know, you got Papa and you got Mike, his sidekick. They do great podcasts. Yeah, they Mike's awesome. auto detail, awesome. Miranda detailing. Phil, yeah, I love his stuff he does. And Jimbo. Do. Who doesn't love Jimbo? Jason from Chicago Auto Pro. So See, you okay, so Jason, every time we formulate something, you kind of run it through the Jason test. Because if <laughs> if they don't like it, they're gonna call you out they'll hard. Tell, they'll yeah. tell you that right away. And so those are, that makes our industry better. Brian from Apex too, yeah. he does the same thing. Yeah, great scientific methodology. Sometimes Absolutely. I'm a little bit hurt afterwards. Oh, he's always been good <laughs> to it. Yeah, I'm just kidding, he's always been good about our product. But then we got Mean B. Mean B's awesome. And don't forget, our all-time favorite, Pete from Camaro Time. Pete from Camaro Time. Pete. We miss you, Pete. God bless get you. Some, get some videos out soon, Yes. And we, um, Fab Automotive, we can't forget him. Nope. Every time we, his videos come out, I'm we love Fab. watching so, those. I guess in a nutshell, we could go on for a long time with Jason Dan. Carnation, Rick's <laughs> Rad Garage, and the organizer. Yeah. Okay, you're right. We could <laughs> go on for a long time. But we just did want to shout out and let people know, look, there's a lot of content out there and a lot of people making really passionate videos that we absolutely love and they make us make better products. And so down at the bottom, we're gonna put links there so you guys can see other content that you can go in and watch and see what a great job they're doing. And so, <laughs> yes, it is emotional. <laughs> Sorry, I get emotional. Yeah, I mean, we really do love those guys. So. Such a such a detailing world. I know, it's such a good community. It yeah. is tight. But let's get back to the car. Okay. Yeah. So the big news of this show was Wax Wars. Wax and we Wars. both know who won. No, we New don't. versus old. <laughs> old. Yeah, whatever. Old. <laughs> what we ended up doing though is we constantly get asked the question what's better, ceramic or wax? And for durability, that question is pretty obvious. But as far as shine goes, which one would win? So Josh and I made a barrier between the car and he mixed up his own concoction. And then I mixed up my own concoction. His was based on ceramics and SiO2. Mine okay, let me explain what we did. Okay. okay. I went through, I clay barred the car. Then we took our 9H ceramic that we've been formulating, experimenting with, experimenting and uh, put that down. Then I put Ceramic Slam over the top, so I stacked it. And then I stacked some Ignite on top of that as well. A Ceramic sa Slam sandwich. sandwich. You got Ooh. it. Yeah. Well so. done. Okay. And hold on a second. Gloss meter reading, 93. So let's hear what you had on there. 92. You're close. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll tally 92. the scores at the end. However, what I did was I clay by the car, put on a coat of my favorite of all times, seal and squeal. I let the SiO2 cure for 24 hours and then put not one, but two coats of gloss sauce. Ooh. And then after everyone left, topped it off with a little ignite because you know how that, that boosts. And final reading. Well, no. let's just. Come on. Okay. What was it? 91.3. 91.3 with a 92 for mine. Okay. Oh, you want to talk about durability? No, I don't want to yeah, talk about durability. Yeah, let's talk about durability real quick, okay? So with the ceramics, you could get up to two years of protection. Yeah, but you know what? Two years of protection? What am I going to do with my weekends for the next two years if I can't touch my car? Well, you can mow the lawn. Ew. You can hang out with your kids every once in a while. They don't want that. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know what I mean? I love to tinker with my car. And so when I tinker with it, it just gives me peace of mind. And if it's under ceramic, it feels like it's under glass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what we want. But I guess what one thing we learned on this Audi was there are a ton of inexpensive, quick projects you could do to your car every day to enhance not only the value, but the aesthetics of it. Let's go through them. 
Yeah, so we went through the front grill. I mean, you can see it here, awesome. It looks fantastic. Yeah, and what was that? $75 and 20 bucks. So, I mean, here are some of the things you can do instead of waxing your car on the weekend. Okay, so we went through this leather seats. Leather seats. $40 in an hour. In an hour. And they look like brand new. Yeah. We dyed them. Got some. We used some matte dye on them and they just look fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, wrapping of the mirrors. Oh, let's not forget the other big story. We had Wasatch Wraps in here. Wasatch Wraps. Max, James, James. and Max. Hey, keep it up. <laughs> keep doing what you Stop. guys are doing. <laughs> anyway, they showed us how for our 30 bucks, you could totally transform different parts of your car without wrapping the whole thing. They simply did the mirrors. Yeah. So also you're gonna see their information in the section below if you wanna learn more about wrapping and a little bit more about Wasatch Wraps. But you're right, that was a quick and easy project. We did a bunch of little projects that were detailing, but not about waxing. So in the end, yes, there's tons of things you could do outside of your paintwork. However, let's call one thing out before we wrap this up for good. And that is, we were thinking World Guinness Book of Records, 110 on the gloss meter. What we found really though, and we knew this all along. Was but, Nancy from World, Guinness Book of World Records was actually booked and wasn't able to make it. Yeah, beyond Nancy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it's more about the jump you take because different colors of paint refract light differently yeah. in, the, in the meter. So we started out with 70 and jumped up to 91, which is a huge, huge jump. jump. Yeah. We thought we'd start at 70 and go to 105, but it wasn't there. Yeah. And so in the long run, it's more about the progress than the end result. And I gotta say, you're happy the cars, with the progress. Yeah, the car's absolutely beautiful. And I've gotta mention one other thing, because when I came in the other day and you had done the engine block, and painted the oh, engine block. We forgot that project. It, it was, I was blown away. It looked so good. We matched the paint perfectly and it was such an add to the car. We're gonna have no problem getting rid of this one. Oh yeah. Well, first of all, let me tell you how much I appreciate your use, loose words of the word we. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that one was though. Yeah, but the, the engine was phenomenal. That really did touch it over. So after all that, what do you say? Can we keep it? Uh, no. I promise I'll drive it every day. I'll take care of it. I'll clean up after it. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to tune in to the next episode of Detail and Bell. Uh. I swear. Steve's not gonna let us keep Just it. You're one not more. keeping it. Just let me keep I'm this one. I'm always one that has to refill the vehicles. Yeah, okay. <laughs>